Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. 4x squared over 2x minus 1 whole cubed minus 1 over 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 14. We need to find all possible values of x, where x is a real number. So, let's start. 4x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole cubed minus if we multiply and divide this expression by 2x minus 1 then this will become 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 14. Now we write the common denominator 2x minus 1 whole cubed. So, this 4x squared will become here 4x squared minus this 2x minus 1 is equal to 14. Next, 4x squared negative times 2x, negative 2x, negative times negative 1 plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 whole is equal to 14. Now, we want to make this expression in the numerator of perfect square according to this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. So, we write this 4 x squared as 2 x whole squared and we write this plus 1 as plus 1 squared. Now, we write negative 2 a b negative 2 times in place of a we write this 2 x times in place of b we write this 1. Now, in the original expression we have negative 2 x and this will become negative 4 x. So, to balance this, uh, we add 2x in this expression divided by x 2x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 14. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this uh, 2x squared minus 2 times 2x times 1 plus 1 squared will become 2x minus 1 whole squared plus this 2x divided by this expression 2x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 14. Now, in this expression in the numerator we subtract and add 1 and we consider this as single term this as second term and this as third term. We can write this expression in three fractions as 2x minus 1 whole squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole cubed plus 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 whole cubed plus 1 over 2x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 14. Now, this gets cancelled, here left 1 and this power will become 1 and this gets cancelled, here left 1 and this third power will become second power. So, this expression will become 1 over 2x minus 1 plus 1 over 2x minus 1 whole squared plus 1 over 2x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 14. Next, 1 over 2x minus 1 plus this expression can be written as 1 over 2x minus 1 whole 
squared plus this can be written as 1 over 2x minus 1 whole cube is equal to 40. Now suppose that that 1 over 2x minus 1 is equal to m. So this equation will become m plus m squared plus m cubed. And this 14 can be written as 8 plus 4 plus 2. Now we rearrange these terms so we write m cubed first and move this state to the left side. This will become negative 8 plus this m squared. Move this uh, plus 4 to the left hand side it will become negative 4 plus this m and this plus 2 will become negative 2 at left hand side is equal to 0. Next m cubed minus this 8 can be written as 2 cubed plus m squared minus this 4 can be written as 2 squared plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now here we have difference of 2 cubes. So by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this m cubed minus 2 cubed will become m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 4. And by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This m squared minus 2 squared will become m plus 2 times m minus 2. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 1 and in bracket left uh, m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now this m minus 2, this m minus 2 and this m minus 2 is common. So we factor out this m minus 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this m squared plus 2m plus 4 plus m plus 2 and plus 1. In bracket left uh, m squared plus uh, 2 times m plus 4 plus uh, m plus 2 plus uh, 1 is equal to 0. Next m minus 2 times m squared. This uh, 2m plus uh, 1m will become plus uh, 3 times m and uh, 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 plus 7 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus uh, 3 times m plus 7 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 2 and from this quadratic equation we see the discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So this is equal to in place of b we write 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 7 and this is equal to 3 squared is 9 negative 4 times 1 times 7 negative 28 and this is equal to negative 19. So the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So no real solutions can be found from this equation. We accept only this value of m2. Now to find the value of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 1 over 2x minus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that 1 over 
two x minus one is equal to m. So when m is equal to two, then this equation will become one over two x minus one is equal to two. And if we multiply both sides by two x minus one, this implies that one is equal to two times two x minus one. Next, one is equal to two times two x, four x, and two times negative one, negative two. Move this negative two to the left hand side. This will become one plus two is equal to four times x, and this is equal to three is equal to four x. And if we multiply both sides by three, this implies that x is equal to three over Four. This is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this equation.